everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this morning. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope that you enjoy today. But of course, we're going to be looking at what is happening across the North Atlantic. So we still can see that there's that disturbance within the open waters of the Atlantic, which may develop over the next couple of days. We'll be talking about that as well as the blob in the Caribbean, previously known Invest 99L. So that could bring some flood and rains to portions of Central America. We'll be talking about that. And we'll overall be looking at the rainfall potential across the Caribbean today. So let's get straight into it. We're looking at the wide satellite view. And here we can see that there is a front extended from Mexico going through the Gulf Coast states and out into the Atlantic, uh, likely bringing some inclement weather to some areas, uh, some stronger wind gusts, some rougher seas. And there is another one out there where the disturbance is located. So as the disturbance is going to be loitering around uh, warmer water, it may actually try to get itself together, potentially becoming a subtropical cyclone. However, it has limited time because that window of opportunity will eventually close once it reaches cooler waters because it's not going to just sit around here for a very long time. It will eventually make its way off to the northeast, moving into cooler waters because as we increase in latitude going further north, uh, the sea surface temperatures they decrease so once it is going to be making its way off to the northeast that is going to diminish any further chances of seeing uh, development of the system but it could bring impacts to the azores as we head into next week now let us go ahead and drift into the caribbean here we are and we can definitely see that there is uh, some activity in the southwestern part of the basin we see that blob and those smaller blobs as well uh, in portions of nicaragua and even in the vicinity of costa rica and panama right along the border there is one so there is some activity associated with this area of low pressure and this is exactly what i was talking about earlier this week where i said that uh, even though development was not expected if we see one of these areas of deep convection popping up one of these convective bursts and it is going to be making its way in that could still result in periods of heavy rainfall even some flooding as well some flash flooding and even those gusty winds and those white dots are seen by the way if you're curious they are representative of lightning strikes so thunderstorm activity is definitely taking place associated with this here but there is still some dry air within the area that's why this failed to develop uh, into anything significant as it relates to tropical cyclone development but as i said it's going to be making its way in likely to induce some periods of heavy downpours along the caribbean coast of nicaragua so we're going to be taking a look at that even for parts of costa rica and panama there may be some heavy downpours today as well and uh, looking elsewhere across the region, we're not seeing anything too significant. There is some shower activity which is affecting the Grenadines and other parts of the Caribbean as well. Maybe some light or moderate downpours for some areas, but we're not seeing anything too significant at the moment across the Caribbean. Let's look at the rainfall forecast. All right, so as we take a look at this map here, we can see that down in the vicinity of the Windward Islands, parts of the Windward Islands going to Trinidad, Tobago, uh, Grenada, the Grenadines, potentially forcing Vincent and Barbados. There may be some showers moving through, but some areas may experience some heavier downpours. For St. Lucia, Martinique, going up to Dominica, Guadeloupe, uh, even for Montserrat as well, Antigua, parts of St. Kitts and Nevis, it is a possibility that there's not going to be a whole lot of rainfall activity. But for Barbuda, and then headed toward Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Barthelme, the Virgin Islands as well, there may be some more rainfall compared to those aforementioned areas in those whites, which indicate that there is a very, very, very low chance of rainfall. Similar story for parts of Puerto Rico. As we head down to the ABC Islands, some showers may be in the area. Uh, if you guys are fortunate enough, you may get a downpour or so today. As we head into the vicinity of Hispaniola, we can see some of those green shadings popping up here and there. Similar story for Jamaica, Cuba, near the Cayman Islands, uh, even up into portions of the northern Bahamas, the Turks and Caicos Islands. Uh, there may be some showers within the area, but for the most part, for most persons, there's not going to be much today as it relates to rainfall activity. And then over in the west, Western Caribbean now for Panama going to Costa Rica and southeast Nicaragua there's likely to be some periods of 
heavy rainfall. So as I said, uh, there are these blobs popping up with lots of rainfall. And as that is going to be making its way in, it is going to be enhancing the chance of heavy downpours and even flooding across some areas. So if you're there, please stay safe. Even for San Andreas and Providencia, those offshore islands, there may be some periods of heavy downpours as well as the system is going to be continuing toward the west. But for the rest of Nicaragua, going into portions of Honduras and uh, El Salvador, sections of Guatemala, a whole lot is not expected, but there could be some heavy downpours for some areas as well. And as I said, there's that front within the area and that is helping to enhance the weather across some spots. So there may be some heavy downpours at times across portions of Mexico. For Belize, not seen where a whole lot of rainfall is expected today. Same story for the offshore islands. And then, of course, we're finally looking at northern South America. Over in parts of Colombia, especially near the Pacific coast, there may be some very heavy rainfall, which may unleash flooding. So that is a possibility. And there may be some showers popping up, especially later today across portions of Venezuela, going into Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana. And that is uh, the forecast, guys, in terms of that. And now let's go ahead and talk about bit more about the disturbance so 40 percent chance of development it was high at 60 percent at the maximum but that has been decreasing however it still has its chance as i said earlier to take advantage of the opportunity to become a subtropical cyclone and here we are looking at the sea surface temperatures so right along here we can see where that's yellow shading and it's going into those greens and then those blues so the temperature decreases as we head further uh, north in latitude and the disturbance is eventually going to be making its way out to the northeast so it has limited time over those waters that may be warm enough to actually support it developing into a subtropical cyclone over the next few day so let's see how that goes guys but uh, that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this update and here we are approaching the end of the hurricane season which officially concludes next thursday a week out from now and we have seen so much this year this is an el nino year and it has been one of the most active seasons in terms of tropical cyclones that have developed ever it's one of the most active seasons. And if we actually got through the list of Whitney, uh, then that would make this year tied with 2021 as the third most active season ever. So uh, we can see that things have definitely been crazy this year. And the main reason for that is because of the above normal temperatures, the excessive heating across some areas. We can all recall June, July when it was just so very hot. But now as we head deeper into autumn and approaching the winter, even for us in the Caribbean, temperatures are getting a little bit cooler for some areas and the fronts will only help to enhance that weather as we head into early next year. So that is what is going on, guys. And of course, I'll continue to keep you posted. Again, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoyed this video. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I can. And remember to always be weather wise.